Team Cody. Ready. We were in. Oh yeah, last time when we had the what's it called? There's no black, there's gray. Oh wait, black, wait, yeah, orange is black. Orange and black. Yeah, it's all the names orange and black here. Uh M A T Oh M A Hello and welcome to week four of the Overwatch season. Today, the 2 and one Marshalltown Bobcats will be taking on the 3 and 0 Ames Little Cyclones. Here's the starting lineup for the Bobcats, same as it has been for the past couple of weeks. Got Miles, the leading um, assister for the Bobcats. Peyton, the leading goal scorer, he's racked up 18 goals across three games here. And then Juan, who's always in the right place at the right time and has been really contributing on the defensive end uh, quite a bit. The Bobcats are coached by Jose Ramirez. Before we get started, I want to thank our sponsors. Go game one. I had a very quick goal. I was just looking down at my stat sheet and suddenly the Bobcats jump out to a very quick lead in the first four seconds. Peyton has a goal. Last time the Bobcats played in week three, it was a thriller. Game five overtime win against Urbandale here as Ames goes on the attack. But they in the right place to stop that one. That was a heck of a game. Both teams, both Marshalltown and Urbandale, they really played well that game. So Marshalltown coming out on top in the very last second. In week two, the Bobcats also had success defeating Kip up 3-0 as there's a shot on goal for Parker for Ames. He nets that one, ties it up 30 seconds in. a cut game in week two. Um, although the Bobcats did win 3-0, each game was very tightly contested. I think 
one of the games went to overtime, and the, the biggest margin of victory for the Bobcats was only two goals. The final score there doesn't quite reflect how close that was. There's another shot on goal by Ames, but nicely defended by Peyton. There's one. Made towards midfield. Miles chips it over the defense, but Parker right there to barely get that one out of harm's way. And here Ames goes on the attack. Nice aerial. And Daniel. Bobcats 2-1 record currently has them sitting in fifth place in the division, which is good enough for the top half. Ooh, a nice uh, little response there. Ames anticipating the, the hit here by Juan, and using that to uh, get a rebound off the top bar there. They barely missing that save. So Ames takes a 2-1 lead. That's why the ball has spent a lot of time on the Marshalltown side, except for those first four seconds. Ames has really done a good job of controlling the ball. Still mid to miles there, but not quite able to do anything with it. So a decent shot there. Goes a little bit wide. Ames. So he the second round of attack. So I'm trying to clear it here, taking the midfield. Ames, on the other hand, the perfect 3 0 so far this season. Has them tied for first place. Week 1, they defeated Walking Northwest 3 1. And then weeks 2 and 3, they won both of those 3 0. Week 2 was against ADM, and week 3 was against DCG, who handled uh, the Bobcats their only loss so far this season. And there's another shot on goal that will result in a score. For Ames, they'll jump out to a two-goal lead here just before the halfway point in game one. So far in the early goings of this one, seems like it's been Ames well controlled the ball a lot of the time as Daniel gets airborne here with a bit of air dribbling. Peyton with a nice save there, Juan with a decent clear, but here's another attack. Hence, a great bit of aerial work there by Ames gets them up three goals. That was before the halfway point. Ames Parker really showing great command of his aerial abilities there. Try to go on an attack. Here's a chance for Miles. It's a little bit wide uh, into the Ames corner. Another attempt here for Juan. Not quite able to get the angle he wants in that. Right there to keep the pressure on. Ooh, a decent attempt there, but it's a little bit slow there. And here comes Ames on the attack. Getting up in the air. Juan up there to challenge him. He's finally making some connections on his aerials. First couple of weeks, he was he was trying them. He was there. He was in the right place. Just think quite yet his his car to the ball in time. In the meantime, there a brilliant save by Peyton. and a couple of weak attempts at a clear will result in a, another goal for Ames. As they lead five to one with a minute and three to go. Other than the first four seconds of the game, it has been all aimed since they have scored five unanswered goals. Daniel gets airborne, a couple of air dribbles. And can't quite. All three Bobcat defenders were there, but just couldn't, couldn't quite get to it there. As uh, Miles almost able to save that one, but not quite. So to go 6-1 in favor of Ames here in game one. 
matchup rock the league. It's the first team to win three games of possible five to be played. Possible a lot of time on Marshalltown's side here as Angel sought another goal. We also have a JV overall game happening in the background, so you can hear a bit of occasional noise. Um, what is happening there? They're having a relatively successful season as well. I'm not quite sure of their record, but you know, they've been competitive. As team scores get another goal here. Game one is all aim. All up by Miles with the ball on aim side. He can try a little bit there, but very quickly, aims on defense. Second, uh, another near aerial goal there. A bit of great passing leads to their ninth goal of the match. Good save by uh, by uh, Peyton there, but can't quite save the second time. It's a couple of Ames players just kind of playing back and forth there. Under 30 seconds to go in the game. Ball way up high there. Cleared by Peyton here. Dog has to go on the attack. Looking to salvage a little bit here. Gain a little momentum going into game two. Ooh, bit of weird deflection. Uh, leads to another goal for Ames in the last second here. It looks decently defended there, but kind of double bounce there, you know, going in favor of Ames. Final 10 seconds here in game one. Long clear with not yet. The game does not officially end until the ball touches the ground when there are zero seconds left. Kind of an unspoken rule of Rocket League to keep the ball up as long as you can. Both teams try to do that. There we have the end of game one. Ames really in control of that one. Peyton with the lone Marshalltown goal. And Juan with the assist this time. Peyton also got himself six saves there. Lots of saves, but couldn't quite save the onslaught of shot attempts. Oh, wait, yo, snap. So the Bobcats will talk some things over. And we will uh, move into game two here. They're communicating a little bit better than they were at the end of last game. Well, they couldn't quite match their four-second goal from last game. So here's an attempt. Oh, a nice center ball. Cleared away, though, by Ames there. Ames now on the attack. Nice center ball for them, and they are able to slot that one. Seconds to go here, game two. Ames leads the match so far, up one game to zero. There's a decent shot attempt by Parker from Ames, and he's able to get that one to go as well. And the Bobcats had a couple of defenders ready there, but not quite able to get to it. Because Peyton Wong was just a bit short. So 
just a few seconds later, the team from Ames has doubled their score. They will now lead 2 0. All down in Ames' corner here. Bit of a center ball there, but nicely defended by Ames. A attempt for Miles. Highly contested. Here's Daniel taking it for himself. Gets it past the Marshall Town defender and scores. Got a teammate there sitting in the middle as well. Three nothing the score goes here in favor of Ames. A uh, bit of a pop fly there by Jaden Flowers. Not trying to recover from that, but no harm comes from that. Flowering about at the moment as both teams sort of readjust and figure out what they're doing here. Nice little chip ball for Marshall now. It's a demo. Ames Daniel. Uh, results in a quick goal. Score goal and score goes here now. Ooh, quick hot shot there and the rebound quickly put back as well. Well, only taking 13 seconds between the last one and this one. Seems to be about their average time between goals in the last few here. Goes in favor of Ames. Parker gets way up in the air for it. Shot on goal. Goes off the crossbar. We approach the midway point in game two here. Demo for Juan. Miles doing a little bit of footwork in the middle there. Gets a shot on goal, but it's saved by Parker. Nice follow up by Peyton, but Daniel's there for this one. Now Ames will go on the attack. Bit disrupted there. Miles almost had Ames defender in a little bit of an awkward position, but he was able to recover. Bobcats may maintain slight control of the ball here, at least for the moment, as it goes back towards Ames' side. Miles goes up the wall, trying to contest that one, but it's quickly heading towards the goal. Ames will slot their sixth goal of the game. That one took a little bit longer. There was a minute and three seconds between that goal and the last one. A little bit better defensive play there by the Bobcats, which led to some decent looks at the goal. Not necessarily resulting in shots on goal, but a little bit more threatening. So we'll see what they can do here in the final two minutes of game two. Long well, bounces in front of the Ames goal. Daniel and another Ames player. Trying to do something a little fancy there. It doesn't quite work out for them. Smiles will try to center the ball. It's in a dangerous spot. It's another kind of bit of a pop fly there. And you can see the attempt as he went flying underneath the ball and into the goal. But unfortunately for the Bobcats, it only counts if the ball goes into the goal. It doesn't matter if your car does. Miles had an attempt there, but ball was ran down quite quickly there by Parker from Ames. Decent center ball there by Juan, but neither teammate there nor able to do anything with it. So we are at the one minute mark here. Ames leading 6-0 in game two. They also won game one. They won this one. They'd be up 2-0 in the match. Bit of work there by the Bobcats. Seems like 
all the Ames players spent a lot of time up in the air. Has, has definitely been to their advantage. In Rocket League, if you can play up in the air, you're going to be you're going to be pretty darn successful, both offensively and defensively. As Miles had a shot on goal there, but went up in the uh, air there to defend it and was able to stop it pretty easily. Shot on goal there by Daniel from Ames. Kind of catches Peyton a little bit flat-footed. Not quite sure. Not quite sure what's going on there, but gets Ames there. Seventh goal of the game. Shot goes a little high. Rebound off the woodwork. Ames will take game two. Final four of seven to zero. Couple of saves from Miles there, but otherwise not much in the stat line for the Bobcats. As they'll look to turn things around here in game three. Bobcats kind of talking some things over there. Trying to make some adjustments here. Game two is definitely an improvement for game one, despite not scoring a goal in game two. But the defense did shape up a little bit there, especially in the second half of game two. So we'll see if they can continue that momentum here. Try to keep Ames under control. To do something there. Ames just continuing their aerial onslaught here. A bit of a, a bit of a helpful hit there by Peyton to get the ball going towards the Marshtown goal. It seems like all three Ames players were chopping at the bit trying to get that ball in the net. Ames jumps out to a 1 0 lead here. 40 seconds in to game three. Game one with a nice little contest there. Goes towards goal. He gets a credit for a shot on goal. Marshalltown goal, but it didn't seem like anybody really had any interest in doing anything with that. On with a nice hit. He's getting way up in the air for this one. Okay. <laughs> the shot goes way hard right off the crossbar there. Not quite able to convert on the rebound either, but Parker for Ames. Using the ball. Going toward Marshalltown goal, but suddenly now Marshalltown on the attack. Ooh, a nice little pass off the wall there from uh, Peyton to Miles. Now not quite able to get the ball in the net there, but on with the fake there. That's what we'll call it. On try centering the ball. Right there to defend it. So we approach the halfway point here in game three. One gets it hard off the top right corner. Nobody quite there to do anything with it as far as rebound goes. And here's Daniel taking to the air for Ames. Looks like he ran out of boost, but Parker right there to take it from him. Put it in the top left. Doubling Ames lead just under the halfway point. Goal lead for Ames here in game three. Parker going up in the air again. 
Nothing comes up at this time. Kane has a nice clear. Puts it going towards Angel. Knocks it down right in front. But close. The other two Ames players right there to clear it. Kane once again. Keeping the ball on the Ames side. Here they go on the attack. Looks like they're going to try and get a center ball there. That easily defended. Back down to that Ames corner. This could be a piece of center. Peyton was right there, and here's two attackers all on one there, and he's able to just disrupt it enough to keep the ball out of the net. Here's a center from Parker. Shot goes high. Nice clear there for Miles. One and a half minutes here. Games lead 2-0. Also lead the match 2-0 as well. So only this one would give them the victory. And a little bit of a scary ball there. On trying there, but the shots ended up going a little long anyway. Miles popping that ball up. He's making a stationary, and Parker loves those as he will just barely miss the shot there. Good luck the left bar. Under a minute here. Bobcats looking for really anything at this point. Great shot goes wide left. Ooh, a nicely defended ball there. Both Miles and I think Juan were in goal for that one. Miles gets the save though. Under 30 seconds here. Right place at the right time to stop that one. As we approach the 10 seconds of game three here. And it looks like Ames will come away with the victory in game three and the match victory. 3-0. So that will drop the Bobcats to two and two on the season with three games left to play. Next week, they will take on Waukee on the 18th, a week from today. Um, as far as the varsity Overwatch team goes, they're scheduled to play Kennedy sometime. At this point, it is scheduled for uh, tomorrow, but the weather might prove to be a little bit difficult for that one. So stay tuned as to when uh, that Overwatch game will be played. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time.